What's good? I'm back with another FL tutorial. Today I'm gonna be making a filthy type beat, like for a whole lot of red. I'm gonna be going for like a rock star made, new tank on that time, that type of beat right there. Just hard ass, like aggressive, violent ass beat. I already got my melody out here. I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. Got a little 17 bar melody. So I started with this sound from Electra right here. When you're making a filthy type beat, like from Whole Lotta Red, you're gonna wanna work with like half steps. And what I mean by that is like, if the first note of your melody is F, then you're gonna wanna switch it to F sharp or, you know, vice versa. So right here, I started out with the E and then I just moved it one half step down to D sharp. So it's gonna give it more like a scary or like an evil type of vibe. That suspense like that. Second sound is also from Electra. This little sound right here. This third sound is from Purity. It's just this little synth. Uh, let me see what it's called. It's the this one right here. I like using this. It's one of my favorite from Purity. There's another sound from Electra. Just like a dirty sounding grimy synth. And this is what all of these sound like put together. Forgot to mention, I also took this synth from Purity and I lowered it like two octaves uh, after eight bars. It just sounds disgusting. Like it just sounds atrociously like amazing. Just wait till we put the drums on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the channel rag right here to start the drums real quick. drop this down real quick. I got this super distorted 808 and for good reason. So filthy. See what I did there? I'm gonna make two different 808 patterns. One that's a higher octave than the other.
So here's a little bit of what I did in the mixer. You really need to get that distorted sound. So what I did is I distorted the fuck out of everything. I took the kit and I put a compressor on it, gained up to 17 decibels. I also took the hi-hat, put some uh, fruity distortion on here, 90% uh, threshold. And I turned down the fader a little bit. And I'm probably about to distort the snare a little bit too. Really, with Filthy, everything just needs to be distorted. It just needs to be muddy, hard, aggressive. You get the picture. This is really giving me Rockstar May vibes. One thing that Filthy did on Rockstar May and Stop Breathing is he would have eight oh he would have two different eight oh eight patterns. One of them starting off with a higher octave, and the second one coming in like later in the track with a deeper frequency. It just makes it hit a little bit harder. I'm gonna show you what that sounds like. Switch back and forth between those two. Other than that, there's not a lot of drum variations. It's pretty stable throughout as far as like the percussion. And yeah, about to arrange this real quick. And here's the full beat. <laughs> 